Hello and welcome to Big Orbit Games unboxing of the latest Star Wars X-Wing Wave 7 release, the Kerax Fighter. So this is for the Scum and Villainy faction. Now I'm sure as much as you'd love me to uh, sit and try and fight through the packaging, I have one I made earlier. So I'm just going to open this up and just go through what's in the box um, and just show you everything that you get in here. So let's just get fight my way through all the packaging. So we can get everything out. There we go. So this is the latest fighter for the Scum and Villainy faction. You get loads of stuff in the box with it, lots of upgrade cards uh, which are going to be useful. And then we're going to see here the maneuver dial. So I'm going to show you this because um, the ship is for the Scum and Villainy is almost comparable to something like an X-Wing or a TIE Advance with its maneuverability and stats. Um, it's effectively the same as a X-Wing um, and it's good to see that Scum and Villainy are getting quite like a serious workhorse fighter to use and the dial is quite an interesting one it's only red maneuvers being a 4 and 5 K turn and it has access to the one tights so it's you know decently maneuverable ship and with the K turns you can pull a few surprises there so let's go through the packaging the stuff that's in here first as always, it is a Fancy Flight product, so you get lots of tokens, you get even more target locks, because I'm sure you don't have enough if you're already playing. Um, so again, we've got the maneuver there and just the ID tokens there. And then on this one we get the um, shield token, um, shield, shield token for it. Uh, and the ship tokens. So as you can see, it stats 3241, 3241, 3241. Effectively the same as the next thing, the only difference being it's traded in a shield for a whole thing of shields. It's sort of the rebel thing. Also, to note, you get Talon Bane Cobra, who's pilot skill 9. So, but we'll come to him in a moment as we go through these, which are the cards. So, just show you the pilots first. So, speaking of, this is Talon Bane Cobra. So, pilot skill 9. Uh, he's only got focus and target lock, so not many actions, nice and basic. Just 28 points, and you can upgrade him with an elite pilot talent missile or an illicit upgrade. And there's quite a cool one in here, which I'll show you shortly. And his ability when attacking or defending, you can double the effect of your range combat bonuses. So at range one, he's rolling two extra dice. Uh, whilst attacking and defending, he's rolling two extra defense dice. So lots of extra dice going into Talonbane there. We have Graz the Hunter, whose ability is when defending. If the attacker is inside your firing arc, roll one additional defense dice. So he gets to be a bit more, uh, a bit more tanky, hopefully a bit more survivable with uh, that extra sort of like put me that three dice good against the turreted chips which is so popular to note though he doesn't have the elite pilot uh, upgrade ability just missile and elicits and then we get the black sun ace and the cartel marauder so these will be your bog standard pilots um, just at pilot skill 2 and pilot skill 5 with no abilities on there so the upgrade you get with this so the first one's a new one called Crackshot. So this is a new elite pilot talent. Costs only a single point and when attacking a ship inside your firing arc you may discard this card to cancel one of the defender's evade results. So it's only a one shot ability because you have to discard the card uh, but it does only cost one point in return. We then have the new lightning reflexes. So another elite pilot talent. It's small ship only so you're not going to be able to use this on uh, your big ships. And then its ability is after you execute a white or green maneuver in your dial, you can discard it, so again it's a once only ability, to rotate your ship 180 degrees, then you get a stress after the jet pilot stress tap, uh, stress tap step, sorry. So this allows you to pull off a really nice maneuver, suddenly get someone in your firing arc um, that's been tailing you, so lightning finger reflexes could be quite a, a day saver. We've got the Predator card, which any of you who've played X-Wing have seen before. It allows you when attacking to reroll on attack die, but if their pilot's got two or lower, you can reroll two instead. Very popular card. Good to see it being reprinted in here. We have the new homing missiles. So range two to three for them. They cost five points. You get to roll four attack dice, 
and the defender cannot spend evade tokens during this attack. So this is going to put a lot of hurt on things like um, Soon TFL, for example, uh, those sorts of ships and lists, because you get to ignore their evade tokens, you're going to be guaranteeing hopefully those hits in there. And then the last one we get is Glitter Stim. This is, I think is one of the best illicit upgrade cards that's currently available. Um, it only costs two points. And at the start of the combat phase, you can discard it to get a stress token. And if you do, until the end of the round when attacking or defending, you may change all of your focus results to hits or evades. This is going to be absolutely beautiful to like turn a turn, uh, make a turn go exactly the way you want it to, help you survive a few rounds of shots and hopefully get in a killer blow yourself. So you get the five upgrade cards and the four pilots in there. But of course you also get the miniature. So let's put that out there. So I always advise sort of pushing them up through there rather than trying to pull them out because otherwise you uh, you could run the risk of breaking it. That's the last thing you want to do with your brand new model. So this is on a small flight stand. Let me just quickly assemble that. There we go. And then get the fighter on there. There we go. So here we have the fighter itself. Let's make sure the camera focuses on it. So it's quite quite a cool design. Um, it looks much more like your atypical starfighter that you'd expect from a sci-fi show. Um, it, you can kind of see like elements of the X-wing in there, but it's you know I think it's quite a unique and interesting design. Um, I think it's a really pretty little starfighter actually. So single engine on the back there. So it'd be cool to see these rushing across the table, nice little swarm of them, as much as you can muster. Um, it's gonna look really pretty and impressive on the table, this Garex fighter. And there we go, that is everything you get in the Garex fighter box. Um there's a lot this is going to be used for for scum and villainy. It's a nice workhorse starfighter. Um, you know, it's in lieu with things like X Wings and Tide Advances. Um, when you start looking at upgrades for it, like Glitter Stem and the Lightning Reflexes, you start to realise you can pull some really surprise manoeuvres on people. Like, you know, they'll see you've got the upgrade, of course, but you mean you can pull off these daring manoeuvres, suddenly catch them off guard on a turn they're not expecting you to do it. Uh, so yeah, this is a really good addition to the Scum and Villainy ships for the X-Wing. Nice to see this in Wave 7. Um, see, they, they are supporting Scum and Villainy more. There we have it. That is a short and sweet video on the Kirax Fighter. I hope you've enjoyed watching everything. Remember, everything you've seen here today can be bought and sold on our website, bigorbitcards.co.uk. Remember to like and subscribe so you can watch more videos. I'll be unboxing the rest of Wave 7. You can see what else is in things like the Hound's Tooth Box set. Join me later for those. Bye.